Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and we're back continuing Ocarina of Time. Oh, it's good to be back. I temporarily put this Let's Play aside to finish up Metroid Prime before Thanksgiving break, and then over the break I accidentally left, accidentally left my headset in Athens, and so I was unable to do any recording, which I'm sure you noticed, but uh... Anyway, we're back in business now, and there's gonna be one video per LP per day going up for... Uh, until I'm done LPing, which won't be for a long time. There's a lot of games I want to do. Anyway, uh, right now I'm kind of not really explaining what I'm doing. We're taking a bomb over here to this tree, because uh, there's a hole down here. And then you can see where I'm on the map there. Uh, the reason we're coming here now is because we have the gold scale. We just got that a couple of videos ago. And there's a heart piece down there, as you can see. Which, uh, it's really deep water here. If you have the silver scale, which gives you six seconds of diving, it's just barely not enough. I mean, it looks like you, you can reach it if you aim it just right, but you can't. I said, believe me, I tried for like half an hour when the first time I got here. Alright, but there's a piece of heart, and we actually just completed a 13th container. That's pretty nice. And now we're actually going to go somewhere that we're not really supposed to go yet. And I wasn't planning on doing this until I realized that I could get, like, multiple heart pieces and a bigger quiver out of it. So we're going we're gonna to do it. We're actually headed into Gerardo Valley. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay out the rest of the LP for you. We got, uh, let's see, four more temples to do. The fire temple, the water temple, and then the, the two after that. And the, the last one is actually in, uh... Whatchamacallit, Gerardo Valley here. So normally you wouldn't come here until the very end of the game, but we're gonna go ahead and do some of the plot elements out here now. I mean, it's completely out of order, but, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I may even do, like, the Water Temple before the Fire Temple or something, just to really throw you guys off, but it doesn't matter. Whoa, wait, okay, er, didn't name that one right. Now you see the bridge is down here. As a kid, the bridge was up, but they had a guard posted, so there's no way to get over there. As an adult, we can use Epona to get across. There's another reason to go get the horse. Let's see if we can pull it off. Hey! Look at that. It's kind of cool. All right, let's get on. Let's get uh, on into the valley here. That's actually like Gerardo Canyon or something. That's where the river comes through. Runs down to Lake Hylia. I suppose it, it starts up in Zora's domain, but I'm not really sure where because there's definitely a different river out there that just kind of goes out into the field and stops. Anyway, let's get on out here. Oh gosh, my practice for this was like two weeks ago. I hardly remember where I'm at. I do know that the easiest way to get started is just to run in and get captured by these guards standing out here. Hey! What's up, guys? Oh! Yeah, I, I, I just knocked her out with a horse. Very nice. Whoa! Okay, very nice. And now we're thrown into this jail cell. Oh no! Stupid kid, get in there and keep quiet! Yeah, it's actually a female voice because here in Gerardo Valley, there are only women. Yeah, it's an all-female gang of thieves. And they're actually more than just a gang of thieves. They're sort of like a... Uh, like a race, I guess. I mean... They, they, they... You have to call them that, I think. Because... Like, there's there's a whole theme with, with the Gerardo that I'll, I'll get into later, but like... Oh, hell, I might as well tell you now. we got some time. But, uh... Like, so, in the Gerardo tribe, only one man is born every 100 years. And I guess he just gets to have sex like crazy because, I mean, he has to keep the population going for another hundred years. I'm not actually too sure how they think that that really works out when they wrote the plot, but anyway. Yeah, you saw what I just did there. You shoot the guards with your bow and arrow to stun them, and you don't, you, don't have, you, don't have to, you don't have to sneak by. You can just shoot them and then run past. And now we're going to hear this dialogue from this guy. This is one of the four carpenters. You recognize him from Kakariko Village as a kid. They actually came out here to fix the bridge at Derrido Valley. But, uh, it didn't really work out that well, because they came up here to the, uh, Gerardo Fortress to try to join the Gang of Thieves. But the Gerardos weren't really feeling that, probably because they're, you know, an all-female gang. Kind of a problem that all the carpenters are male. Anyway, there's some Gerardo guards somewhere around here, namely right behind us. Whenever he says that, he lets you know. And basically, your strategy here is to just go for it. You don't want them to have time to use this one particular move. And I'm going to try to show you what the move looks like, just as an example. You have to back up. They have to have space between you and them for them to do it. And they have to think that you're not, you're not ready. Now that little swipe there, that won't get you knocked out. They have a larger, more powerful move that they do where they leap through the air. If you get hit with that one, it's a one hit KO. You get stunned out, and they send you back into the jail cell. Come on, do the move so that I can show them. There she goes. That's it there, that's the spinning move. 
If you get hit with that thing, you're done. You're going back into the jail cell. You have to sneak around again. Crap! Yeah, use the jabbing move, because that has the best range. There you go. And once you've beaten them enough, you can get to pick up the key that they drop and release one of the carpenters. We're going to do this for four different guys, and we get to hear the same dialogue every time. Uh, make sure once you open the jail cell, you come in here and actually talk to the guy. Otherwise, they'll just stand there and dance. Uh, we're interested in joining their all-female group, but they locked us up here just because we're men. We don't care about the Gerardo anymore. They're so rude. How rude. All I can think of is Jar Jar Binks. Ugh. Anyway, three more of his fellows are in prison somewhere around here. And I'm trying to think of what the best way to could get to the next one is. I think we want to go back out the way we came. There's a, there's a really quick way of doing this that, that involves, like, sneaking around with less guards, but I don't know the exact route. I think I'm actually going to probably run into it on accident, but anyway, I don't know if there's a guard around the corner up here or not. Let's see. Yeah, I see, see if I can hit him with a, with a bow. Ah, too high. Crap. Alright, well, she'll come back. We can get her then. Alright, let's see. I'm going to try to peek around the corner. This is where that trick that Navi taught us is really going to come in handy. Crap! She turned around too soon. Dang it. Or maybe maybe she was already facing towards me. I can't really tell which way they're facing because of the way that their clothes are. They don't have a very distinct front and back. Anyway, we're going to hop down onto the roof again. You know what? Forget it. Let's go in here instead. It's easier to get to. And I'm fairly sure that you can sneak around pretty much anywhere from here anyway. Let's see. Can I? Yeah, there's a couple of them here. Whoop! I think there's one more, so let's wait a second here and wait for her to come into, into view. There she is. Alright, let's get out of here. Nothing over there. We can go up, though. Oh, it's a one-way, isn't it? Crap. Yeah, there's a, there's another guy up there, but we have to come in the other direction. Crap. Alright, well, let's leave. I guess we do have to do it the way that I was headed. Oh, well. We'll head over there. It isn't that much trouble. I'm worried I'm going to run out of arrows here, though. I'm going to try not to miss anymore. We may not have to take out all three of these guards in order to sneak by anyway. Oh, that was a horrible shot. I was actually aiming for the closer one, but I didn't want to hit the wall and just have my arrow to stick into it. Ah! Finger slipping on the thumbsticks. Hate that. Yeah! Alright. See, the arrows are actually surprisingly easy to place in this game once you learn where exactly they go. Because it's not like there's a target reticle for you to look at. Anyway, we're going to get her quick and get her before she goes out of sight again. Uh, a little lower. A little lower. There we go. Got her. Now, she's got a couple friends over there, too, so we're going to have to watch out for them as well. There you go. I think I can peek around the corner here. Just... Gotcha. Is there a third one? There is. There's a third one. Whoop. Right there. One, two, three. And now we go... Oh, gosh. Let's go up the far stair. I'm not sure if this is the right or not, but... We'll find out pretty, pretty, quick, pretty quickly. Back outside here. Yeah, you're going to kind of go outside on top of. Yeah, this is it. Okay, great. Now we go over here. Jump over here. A, is there a guard out there? No. But this is the way to climb onto the roof, which we want to do. We can go back in and search around for the carpenters in a second. I want to get the, the heart piece up here first. Yep, the uh, Jurder are keeping a heart piece locked up on their roof up here. And I think if you stand. Hey! Look at that. We know what to do. Oh god. <laughs> I still can't remember my Scarecrow song. Oh boy. Alright! Look at that! First try. Very nice. Ah, and there's Bunuru. No, wait. That's Pierre, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, come on. Tell me I can reach him. Jeez. How useless would it be if I couldn't get him? Ah, alright, barely. You won't get the red. You won't get the red dot, but you can barely get there. If you got the long shot, you actually can go straight to the chest up here. But uh, we don't get that until we complete a temp one of the temples later on. It's actually just an extension on the hook shot. Anyway, piece of heart. Hoorah! And now I'm gonna hop down to here, and and then I guess we're just gonna go back down this way. That is where we came out. That door up there. Uh, we haven't been in this one yet, so I'm gonna take a look and see where it goes. Okay, when you get in here, you want to wait. Because there's going to be one that comes in front of you. Yeah. Very nice. Alright. Is there another one down here? It's a hallway. This is weird. Oh, it's one of the prisoner rooms. Very nice. This is where we want to go, then. Hey, over here inside the cell. Come milk me. 
Alright, let's see. I have no idea where you come from. Where I have no idea where you come from? You mean where you came from? It's like, I come from Kakuri Forest, but I haven't, like, came from there in a long time. Like, that was a while back, dude. Anyway, yeah. He says that he'll they'll repay the favor somehow. I don't know if they actually do anything for you or not, but you do get something good for doing this. Anyway, I don't think I can beat the next little fight in 30 seconds, so we're going to do that in the next video. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time, where we will continue to infiltrate the Gerardo Fortress and rescue these fat-ass carpenters. See you then.